The Trend Twins are the most irresponsible bodybuilders ever because fans are getting annoyed with their ridiculous workouts and fitness routines. The sad reality is the Trend Twins have gone too far. From promoting a toxic gym culture to being completely reckless with bodybuilding, they're on a dangerous mission. But what's a real reason everyone's mad at them? <laughs> With their jacked up physiques, meat bro attitude, and their crazy intense focus on getting bigger, it's no wonder people want to listen to what they have to say when it comes to packing on some muscle. But that's also why they're being exposed, since they don't even know their basics when it comes to muscle building and believe in some random stuff that just isn't true at all. Which is why they're even getting called out by exercise scientists. The thing that really separates like physiques is like the density and the muscle maturity. So density is straight up not a thing. It's just not. It gets even worse though, because even though a lot of what they do is perfectly fine, sometimes they do things that are just way too reckless. They're side gripping, which I don't have a terrible problem with if you're interested in taking the injury risks to the face. However, this is far from the most dangerous influence they have, since they openly promote steroid use to their young fans, which is as irresponsible as it gets. If you're gonna take steroids, you better have some insane patience and we just rage. I have zero patience. I mean, at least they could be like Sam Sula can be hush about it, you know? Especially since they're living proof of the worst effect of steroid use. Roid rage. There's no regulation in the gym that says I can't launch a 45 plate at your f***ing skull. And things have gotten so bad for them that one of the Trend Twins was even hospitalized recently for the dumbest reason possible. A caffeine overdose. I'm addicted to f***ing caffeine. Like, I don't know what it is. Chris was putting an insane amount of caffeine into his system just so he could get more intense workouts in. And he practically used his body throughout the whole thing, which obviously ended up with him in the hospital. I'm certain he was suffering more than he ever thought possible. For the Trend Twins to actually go to the hospital, you know it's serious. At the end of the day, the Trend Twins will do whatever it takes to get their dream physique, even if it means ending up dead. And that just sets a bad precedent for all the young guys who watch them. Because let's face it, the Trend Twins still have some elite genetics on their side, and that's just not the case for a lot of people watching them. Yeah. I get it. We're the Trend Twins. We got to do crazy things. But remember, it comes down to your health. Is it worth it? It might be time for them to ask themselves if they've taken things too far and whether they want to grow up a little and level with their fans about the real dangers of what they're up to. But is that ever going to happen? Or are the Trend Twins going to be as crazy as ever?